Day one. Oh yeah, it's that time. I'm out here on the Penhody Trail. I had a damn good time getting here, really. Took the train getting here, but yeah, let's recap. Let's see how I got here. Ah, uh, my first few steps of freedom. <laughs> uh, terrified. All right, from here to a bus, to a train, to a bus, to a shuttle driver, to a hostel, and then shuttle to the trail. Easy peasy. It's got to be like two and a half days of travel. I wasn't really anxious until a couple of days ago. I was just, I don't know, very nonchalant about it. It didn't seem like a big deal, but then all of a sudden the anxiety kicked in. Could have swore I was having a heart attack a couple of times. Just like, oh my God, I'm going to be out on the trail. Like, oh, it's always scary. It always is. Uh, more than likely, it's going to be rather wet. There's a big storm traveling across the country, and I should be traveling with it. So, yay. My well, first few steps on the trail should be rather moist ones. Uh, that'll help get us, get us acclimated. But I am free. I am free. No more, no more of that smile haunting me. That smile's the only smile you see in there. We don't smile in there. We all just have, like, looks on our faces. <sighs> the only smile is you're leaving. Let's go catch a bus. Okay, it begins Sunday, March 3rd at 7.41 p.m. If you can read that. Um, at the Phoenix Greyhound Station. From here, I take a bus that doesn't leave for hours. Uh, I got dropped off when it was convenient for who was dropping me off. You know, I don't mind waiting around. Getting to the trail is the hardest part. So, you know, just take that in stride. But from here, I take a bus down to Tucson. It's like a two point, two and a half hour drive or so. And then a couple mile walk. And then I wait around at an Amtrak station for a handful of hours. Evidently, it's running late already. They're sending me updates. But, uh, you know, it doesn't matter to me yet. It doesn't really matter. As long as I get there before it, which I have hours. Which is cool, get a little walk in. Then there I sit on that train for a couple of days, man. I'm not going to be done with this trip for three days. That's a long time to be on buses and trains and stuff. But, you know, like a 12 hour layover in New Orleans, that might be interesting. We'll see what that's about. So, yeah, let's wait around. The gravity of what I'm doing hits me in waves. At yeah, one moment I'm chill, everything's cool, and then. Anxiety out the roof. You think you're having a heart attack. My arm gets tingly every once in a while just to, you know, make me think that. But it's been going on for days. Those are just mild panic attacks. I've been through this before. I've been through this before. Why am I always so scared? But it just hits you in waves. Sitting there, chill one moment, the next minute, anxiety. Look, I do have some, some uh, medication for anxiety. I was gifted like a candy. There's even weed candy nowadays. Although inconvenient to get into. They don't make them with the easy tear tops. You gotta have scissors or a knife in my case. Really inconvenient, but if you're gonna be in a bus station, you might as well be lit, huh? Let the adventure begin? No, no, not for a couple of days, man. And even then, I'm expecting it to be crap. There's just a huge storm that's coming through. It's nailing California right now. They're getting like 10 feet of snow, crazy enough. But nothing hit here yet, which is weird, because normally right after there, well, we get hit, so either it went north and around us, or it's really slow moving. But uh, I looked at the forecast for where I was in the next 10 days or so, so our, our rain, but not freezing, so that's cool in the 60s and 70s during the day so hey man I, <laughs> I'll take it it is what it is I feel better already I'm nearly as anxious thanks for talking me through that well beefed it already uh, it turns out I was not supposed to come to the bus station I was supposed to go to a random liquor store where well, there's uh, some pickups around Phoenix where it's a random liquor store or you know parking lot and whatnot uh, so, but I came to the bus station thinking that's where I was supposed to be. Turns out not. So the lady transfers my ticket over. Tells me there's one in Tempe in an hour I got. You know, she's like, if you're real quick, you can make it. 
So I'm like trying to you know, download some Uber on my phone. I never use that stuff. I walk everywhere. So you know, I'm trying to figure out how to get a taxi over there. When I do, I'm looking at the thing she gave me, and it says 10.30 on it, which is the time it is right now. So I was like, hold on. So I went back in and talked to her. She's like, oh, shit, I misread it. Uh, I guess it's a military time on their screen. So, uh, so um, yeah, there's no more buses out. There's another one that leaves at 3, but it's full, according to the thing. Uh, the lady's going to talk to her for me. And then there's another one that comes in at, like, 5 that says it's full. But she says she'll talk to him. She says they're both good drivers. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but she's like, if there's space, we'll get you on there. But it says they're full, so... I don't know, I'm going to wait and hope, but if not, I don't know what to do. I guess I cancel my train ticket and, you know, I uh, reschedule everything. Yeah. Inconvenient. Oh, let's see what happens. I'll wait at the bus station all night. So, the bus is a no-go. Even the ones that will come in will not get me to my train on time. So, I did what all adults do. I called my dad. Uh, <laughs> he's super reliable and he's like yeah I'll take you I was like dude I will give you money he won't want money but you know, I was like fuck man I'll give you like 300 bucks for a ride to Tucson I hit up some random people through text but they're people I don't really talk to or anything I just happen to have their numbers and I know they live around here I was like man I will give you like 300 bucks for a ride I'm desperate uh, but they naturally didn't return my call probably thinking it's you know I'm a prince from Nigeria or something uh, so stressful getting to a trail alright so yeah uh, my pops is on the way. Okay, so it's 7 a.m. the next day. My dad was kind enough to drive my happy ass all the way to Tucson and drop me off. Thank you. Uh, but the train has been delayed again and again and again. There's a huge blizzard going on in California, which just sounds weird to say. And it's delaying everything. So, here I sit and wait. And I'll be on the train forever in a day. I don't know when the next time I get food is. Like, I go get some right now. But I don't know when the train is going to be here. So there's no way I'm taking off to go for a little walk and, and missing my train. You know? So I'm just going to be hungry for a while. Uh, really, I mean, as far as hungry, no, I'm not really hungry. Uh, last night at the bus station, like, I started getting a splitting headache. Um, I know you don't want to hear it, but I got diarrhea. Um, and then when I got here, I started throwing up all over the place. You know, nobody knows. I, I've been really discreet about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I feel like shit. Like, my head is pounding. Uh, so, yeah, even if I'm coming down with something, I'll be over it by the time I get where I'm going. So, I guess good timing. If you're going to be sick and hate, you might, might as well do it when you're around a bunch of people you can spread it to. You're welcome, everybody. All right, waiting for a train. car check it out there that that mountain has snow on it still it hurts deserts of Tucson but there's still snow out there but it is super early March March 4th so all right good morning once again ladies and gentlemen another announcement here from the cafe lounge I'd like to thank everyone who has come down this morning I stopped off at the cafe lounge to think about bagel and coffee bite to eat so we're about an hour out and we're still only traveling at a few miles an hour. Uh, I really hope this train picks up some steam. No wonder it takes two days for this thing to get all the way to Birmingham. back in beautiful Lordsburg. I've never seen railroad ties made out of concrete before.
So we have like a three hour layover here in, where am I, maybe San Antonio or something? But it's like 3 a.m. and I was like, man, I am hungry. I didn't eat on the bus. I had a bagel this morning. Um, oh, and then we had a stop and there was a lady selling burritos outside. I bought two of those. Uh, they were not bad at all. And they're only $3. They weren't great, but they were only $3. But there's a Denny's over here, and if I got a three-hour layover, uh, I'm getting lit. And yeah, there we go, I see the sign. Oh, ho, ho. All right, so I'm gonna spend a couple hours here because that's way better than being on the train. Oh, well, the train is nice, way better than the bus. Did not know they had a space needle here. What does it do? It's just like a restaurant up there or something. Why would you need that? There's a Denny's over here. Ooh, I just had a huge scare. So I came back from Denny's and that is the cart I am in. But my stuff was in the cart that is no longer there. So I got on, I went back to my car, my seat, and I looked back at where my stuff was, and I was like, oh no, there's not even a, not even a train car there anymore. Luckily, it is still here, but way further back. So yeah, the dude helped me find my stuff. But uh, seeing that my backpack was, was uh, not where I left it frightened me terribly. Oh, oh I, got, I got super stressed. Because mine is actually way, my backpack was way down like there. Oh no, right there. Man, I'm almost fucking myself left and right on this trip. I'm really bad at this stuff. How do I make it anywhere in life? I believe this dirty bitch here is Houston. Kind of smells. We have an hour layover, so I'm trying to find food in the meantime, following the herd. Did not expect this. There's a food court in the middle of, I don't even know what this is. It's like a rundown warehouse building that they cut the floors out of. You could totally see where they cut the floors to open it all up and food court that I can't read most of the signs uh, but I can read burgers so that's where I went because I don't know what the hell half this food is and I don't mind trying new stuff but I don't want to waste my money on something that's inedible that I will eat regardless because I spent money on it Okay, we've made it to New Orleans with, I don't know what this music is, man. <laughs> Janky ass train station. Oh man, we're like three hours late, but hey, my, I had a 12 hour layover here anyway, so no big deal. Let me see if I can find some jambalaya or something. Something, I don't care. Okay, it's midnight, there's not much open in this town. I would have thought it had more of a nightlife than this, but I am evidently the only thing here. Hopefully I don't get mugged, because that'll mean there's two of us. Well, some of the people that I met on the train, they offer, they're like, hey, we're taking a lift to Alabama. You want to go in our lift? <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, thanks. I already bought my train ticket. Yeah, that was really nice of them. I hear there is an IHOP down the way. I'm not getting my jambalaya or anything, but hey, I'll, I'll take an IHOP. At least I know what to expect from that place. Uh, 
This is the quietest downtown ever. Uh, still in New Orleans, survived the night. Hung outside the bus train station all night. They locked us in essentially. Uh, I leave here in a couple hours, spend another nine or ten hours on a train, and then I meet the people who are driving me to the hostel if everything works out. You know, I might get on the wrong train or be at the wrong station. Lord knows what we man. I know I am tired. Can't wait to get out of that bus and go to sleep or a train and go to sleep. That was on the agenda. So I'm currently here at the Penhody Outdoor Center. Uh, of course, it's super early. It's like probably about 4 a.m. I woke up at 3.30. Made my cup of coffee, you know, as per usual. Oh, uh, there's three other hikers here. Uh, they're being dropped off at different locations, but I'm being dropped off with at least one of them. No, two of them. Yeah, there's three hikers here. Did I say three? Yeah. But one's being dropped off in a different direction, so he can slack back, but I'm being dropped off with two others. Uh, one of them says he's in shape and he's going to be doing like, you know, 18 right off the bat, so I might never see him again. Uh, <laughs> I'm definitely not trying to do that. Hell, there's a, um, a shelter three miles in. I might just stop there. Who knows? Who knows? Well, we're going to taste the Penhody Trail for the first time. It has been really wet out here. Um, wetter than usual, according to them. Everything seems pretty wet. Everything's been drippy the whole time. It looked like swamp looking out the window of the train halfway up the state. Oh, but yeah, it's cool. Get my feet wet a little bit. I'm going to hang back for a couple hours because they said they were going to leave really early at 7. So it's 4 at best right now. So I got a few pots of coffee. I'm going to get me have a few safety meetings. And let's get ready for this trail, man. safe you should probably get that way it's gonna be a rough day I'll see you there okay Penhody Outdoor Center everybody is awake there's three of us going to the trail Chuck over there is taking us Chuck's a cool motherfucker we're, we're really getting along we vibe I might come back here in a couple of days this is 21 or something miles up the trail uh, there's supposed to be a storm rolling um not that you know i'm adverse to it but if i can hide i wouldn't mind this is a good place i could see coming back it's only like a mile and a half off the trail so i didn't even need to call to get a ride to come here i could just show up sopping wet on the doorstep and they'll take care of me all right magic is about to happen i'm a little nervous a little nervous like i'm new or something yeah, we'll get there, we'll sit down, relax, have a safety meeting. These two cats are planning on doing damn near 20, oh, those two cats are planning on doing damn near 20 miles today. Not me. He was saying, he was saying, he, oh, there we go. Oh, mirror effect. Okay, that's weird. Okay, anyway, he was saying 
that there's a camp in like 13 miles. That's a little farther than I wanted to push today, but I might I might go to that 13 miles to you know campsite that has good water and whatnot, and I'm cool with that. But I'm definitely not doing no 18. Fast forward, I'm at 18 miles. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Slow and easy, man. So slow and easy. Don't want to hurt myself. Not as young as I used to be. All right, let's do it. Okay, we are here at the trailhead. They're going back to get pictures of the very first blaze. I guess it's just back there. Ah, these places up here look just like it. Hey, there's one right there. I have had lunch here before. Back in 2020, I came up here. Uh, who is it? Uh, what was it? I don't even remember their names. The family that took us in. Man, the bachelors. There they go. Came over here with Stan Bachelor. There we go. And had lunch. I believe there was four, man. Uh, picnic tables but hey anyway they've recently done a prescribed burn so everything's a little on the charry side trail is off yonder it is a really nice day there's a few birds singing the weather is nice it's got to be like low 60s right now this is it's so much better than i thought it would be i was expecting rain right off the bat rumor is there's supposed to be a decent storm tomorrow but i have options tomorrow for i will be walking by the hostel again so if i want to i can pop over there and stay so, uh, it's nice to have options. Okay, this is real. We're on the Finn Honey Trail. Well, not yet, but it's right up here. We're on it, though. It feels later in the day to me. I thought it'd be damn near, I don't know, 10 o'clock, maybe a little later, but it's not even 8 o'clock yet. It's still nice and early. Weather is gorgeous. I'm feeling pretty safe. Just chilling. Uh, not ready to take my first steps just yet, but really, really soon. Sitting here listening to the birds, let everybody else, you know, walk up ahead. I'm planning on just doing it lazy, slow and steady. Hmm. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah, me neither, but let's do it anyway. And we're off. Man, nobody's allowed on this but us hikers. We're gonna stay off. Good old Coosa County. Okay, there's a lot of blazes going on here. Okay, so we're looking for a light blue or a gray by my eyes, but I was told it's light blue. Blaze and a big old turkey foot or a chicken or something. Yeah, big old bird foot. Look at us, we're hiking. Flag Mountain up the way. Now let's start off the the whole thing with a good climb. Let's get in shape. I should sign. I like to sign. Okay, never mind. That thing was wet. The ink was all runny. So I'm not going to bother. We're there. We started. Chuck says the significance of Flag Mountain is that it is the southernmost mountain that is more than 8,000 feet. 1,000 feet really considered a mountain? Guess out here.
spring is springing around here. This is the first one of these I've seen. Actually, the flowers look a little wilty. Okay, it's been here for a minute. Looks like the ground's kind of just thawed, though. No, it's not pumping out life yet, but it will. Come a spongy mess. Looking forward to all the flowers. The East Coast is a whole different world. I spent my most, most of my life west. Still doesn't feel real yet. Still sinking in. You're on a long walk, dude. You've done this before. Not panicked or anything, but yeah, you know, it just doesn't feel natural yet. Soon enough. Not sure what the yellow and blue mean. Alright, it's two trails overlapping. I haven't actually opened my map yet. Fairly certain I have it. I've opened it in other states that it was there. I haven't opened it here to make sure my dot appears on it. I'll get around to it when I feel as though I'm lost. And then I'll find out I don't have the map. Wouldn't that be the first time? For me that dude took the wrong way because I'd have done it too. Gotta remember to read the blazes. Tells you there's a left here. But I'd have probably just kept going straight because that doesn't look all that trailly. Until you see the blaze. I got a flagpole. I mean something. Got a large structure. Let's go see if we can climb that. Why no flag? There's motherfucking snakes in these motherfucking hills. <laughs> Just in case we get lost. Lights and a ceiling fan? I was not expecting all that. And uh, whatever that is. Oh, it's a toy. going on way out there. Or maybe those are smokestacks. I think those are smokestacks. Um it adds. Unsure. I didn't want to order run the wiring up here. There's no cameras. I can totally camp up here. There's a bird trapped in here. One of the other hikers got him out. Good guy. I don't remember their names already. 
I feel bad asking for your name over and over, knowing I'm just going to forget it. People take it personal sometimes. I don't mean anything by it. I'm just bad with names. So I'm gonna hang here, have a generic Snickers. I got a picnic table, a little safety meeting. We'll let the guys get further ahead. Pretty mellow out here, I'm digging it. Good adjustment. I was worried I'd come back to, you know, heavy rains or rains in general. Persistent rains, even if their lights suck. But no, it's beautiful, man. Okay, well, the good part about having people have you is you know which way to go. You just watch them walk away. I always watch people walk away now because I make my first mistakes first in leaving somewhere. It's always when I zig instead of zag. So I found now I just watch people and I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I see that. I know where to go. All right, we're at the first of, I believe there's a few of the CCC cabins. Uh, rumor has it, I know he was for a while, but I don't know if he still is. Nimba Will Nomad, rather famous dude in the hiking community. Cool name, easy to remember for some reason. Yeah, more cabins at the top. And I don't see any telling me to turn right. But these ones are telling me to turn left. And they'd be viewed from this direction. Yeah, way down there some places. Thought it was a food truck when I first saw it. Got plenty of food on my back. Probably more than I need. You know, guys, at the beginning of a hike, I personally, I'm not sure about you, but I do not have much of an appetite, if one at all. I did eat this morning leftover Subway sandwich from the day before. Bought at the train station. After the CDT, it is just really nice to come across a well-marked, easy-to-follow trail. It's been really nice. There's, you know, there's not been really any guessing so far. Yes, I am only like a mile and a half in, probably topped. But it's off to a good start. Okay, that's a third one I've seen. Random household appliance. From where? I don't know. Here's a bunch more of them. Or just metal house junk in general. And I guess people have been living in these woods for a long, long time. And while our products weren't made to last, our garbage definitely was. Nice, tells me to take a left. Obvious signs. This is convenient. A no thinking trail. Yes, I do believe I will go down this trail. Thank you. Heavily blazed trail. I appreciate this. I'm not confident enough yet to just turn my brain off. Yeah, I'm not at that point. It takes a little bit. There's a certain zen involved in just walking as a zombie and going on vacation inside of your head. Poking at the, the demons that live in there. Go 
come around the corner and there is Random Bench. Oh, hey, a view of water. Is that my first water source? I haven't even checked where that is on the map, but I did pull up the map to make sure that I am a dot on the map and I am, I exist. It looks like I have opportunities for water a few times over the next several miles. I brought a lot with me, so I'm going to wait for one that's three miles up. Uh, the comments are not up to date, but it's been a wet season, they say. Hmm, which way do I go? I see, I see a triangle of blazes. I see something that looks like a chair going that way, but I feel like this one looks a little more well established. Yeah, let's get down without slipping and sliding. Ooh, rolling log. Oh, yeah, I see a blaze. Perfect. Oh. I can hear water flowing all around me. And it just feels really good to be out here. I wonder how far I'm gonna make it today. I'm not trying to push myself, but it's still early in the day, really early in the day. But I'm not sure how I feel. I'm just coming off of a three-day train ride. My sleep schedule's all confused. At least I would think it would be. I'd feel pretty cool right now, but fast forward a few hours, we'll see how I feel. But this is the best I've ever started off a trail as. Like, this is the most fit I've been in shape and ready to take on the trail. But that's just because the jobs I did this season at Amazon. Some jobs keep you in shape more than others. I'm the best off financially I've been for a trail, except that very first one. But I just, you know, blew the bank on that. The best spiritually, emotionally. It's a good start. And I'm just glad it's this kind of day today. You know, that, that helps in so many ways. Even if it had just been drizzling today, it would have changed the whole mood. I mean, not enough to keep me down. But not this splendor. There's not a whole lot going on right now. You know, this is mostly a still a sleeping forest. I will find my joys in it. But it is nice in comparison to what it could be. And if I get to ride out a storm tomorrow, that would be cool. We all know I'm a fair weather hiker. And I wouldn't mind hanging out with Chuck again. He's a cool cat. He can tolerate me. I really like that in a person. <laughs> I got a little water source down there. A nice campsite right next to it. I'm taking a little safety meeting break. There is a, a tiny little shelter. I didn't even go inside, but I'm just sitting out here on the bench, just enjoying the sunshine. We're coming up upon a city street in another, like, I don't know, three or four miles, I think it said. And there is like a convenience store there, but it opens really late, so it might not be open when we get there, because I think it's only like 9.30 right now. But if so, I'll poke my head in there and see if there's some sweets I want to buy. I wouldn't mind an ice cream sandwich or something right now. A Mississippi Mud Bar. Mm, I don't know if you guys have had one, but if you ever see a Mississippi Mud Bar, buy it. It is the best ice cream sandwich there ever has been. Let's see what we got here. I love the decor. Got a certain charm. Well, I'll sign this one. It's dry. Not much, but you don't need much. Great in a storm. It's got a porch and everything. Covered porch. You, yeah, can't beat it. Well, you can, but 
This is excellent. Nice, pleasant little break here at the at the table. It's nice to have stuff like this that slows you down, especially in the beginning, because, you know, I need to slow myself down so I don't hurt myself. So I'm glad things like this exist. Remind me, stop, sit down, enjoy yourself. Have a little lunch. Ate some edibles, too. I don't know what the milligrams are on them, because I just have a medley bag of them. So walking should be a little more interesting now. I got one that was wrapped up. It makes me think it was, like, special, so... Adding that to the mix. I'd like to introduce you to Spoonie 3. Long live Spoonie 3. May, may we have many adventures together. Is this his first time being used? <laughs> uh, don't go anywhere. You have no idea how important you are. Rubber spoon, rubber spoon, rubber spoon. I've been here for, I don't know, at least a half hour. I'm tempted to go soak my feet, but there's just not a reason for it yet. Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't anyway. I'm still, I had an ingrown toenail cut out of me. Uh, probably, what, like five days ago, I think. I'm still healing on that, so yeah, I probably shouldn't be soaking that in the river yet. I'll well, show you the wrath of the storms that have come through here. Look what they did to this bridge. I'm assuming that's what this was. Jacked it all up. Guessing that was a no. Because if it jacked the bridge up, why would that platform still be there? That's just loose wood. Hmm. Oh, I thought I had gone, I don't know, a goodly distance. But then I look over my shoulder. And enhance. Wasn't I just there? Oh, I guess there was a stop in between, which makes it seem even worse. That I can see the place that I didn't take break, break at last, but the time before that. Yeah, that looks like some sort of agave, but not really. It's in there. I don't know if you belong here, buddy. I don't know, it looks like an agave. We here, huh? The Dai Itchy Life Trail, Dai Itchy, Dai Itchy. I don't know. I see blue lights, so this is my path. Oh, somebody made a Flintstones bench. Look at that thing. And another plaque. This one looks more like a tombstone. There's 430 acres and something in another creek, George. We're protected in 2016 with the funds from the Eric Stokes family and others. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. I'm going to take the pack off. Do you realize what you are doing right now? That your next six to eight months are committed. That you're walking up and down these puds for the next 
we'll say 2,500 or so miles. You know, I've done this, I've done this before, we all know this, but it still is, uh, it's hard to wrap your mind around at first. So I'm just thinking about the big picture. I'm not, I'm not supposed to do that. Because there is no big picture at that. Garbage. I just do what I want this time. I can tap out any time, but I don't want to imagine me tapping out. But I have the option. It's no commitment. Nothing special. It's just a walk in the woods, man. Don't overthink it. But I am. I can't believe I'm actually sweating. I so expect you to be cold and wet. Well, now I'm hot and wet. It's just the best kind of wet. But I'm actually sweating. I don't know how well it shows up in my shirt, but ooh, I feel it. it. Doesn't look like the shirt really changes colors, which is good because I sweat a lot. It's nice to be all gross, but not look disgusting. I'll see what this shirt looks like after a couple of months though. Feels like it's made out of like silk nylon. It's different than any other shirts I've worn. I'm hoping it's totally mosquito proof, all that stuff. Because while I somehow lucked out and got away with not dealing with mosquitoes on the entire last trail, except for little pockets here and there, I don't assume I'm going to have that luxury this time. Those little bloodsuckers will get me. I might even get a head net at one point. Unless I brought one. Did I bring one? I don't think I own one. But if not, I will get one. I remember the gnats getting in my eyeballs made me cry last time. The trees are starting to get a little a little more mighty. Well, I hope I wake up early. I hope it's a nice morning. I hope it just feels good to crawl around in the morning, maybe some stars. I don't think the moon's out at this point, but no, I don't remember seeing it this morning when I went out. I'm going to get back to doing what feels good. It's going to be a positive trip indeed. This has been yet another semi, almost 90 degree cutoff on the trail, but I notice it easily because they take the time to put a little bit of paint. I really appreciate that. Some trails would make me walk all the way up that hill, maybe down the other side, before I realized I was not on the trail. Not all true blue pin hody takes care of the man. Okay, I just came onto this little road via in here, popped out there. And I didn't know which way to go, so I started walking this way, looking at my map. And I didn't notice that blaze right there, just because I didn't. You know, I'm looking at my map, and I realize I'm, not, I'm off trail, so I stopped to look around. And I could see this worn trail in there. I don't think I noticed this blaze. I think I noticed one of the ones down here. But okay, so that's the first time I wasn't absolutely sure where the trail was. There's had no uh, markers to denote that there was a turn and then another turn, so... Because I could have gone left or right back there when I popped onto the road. I was not sure which way. Couldn't see the next blaze from where I was. Okay, so now we're going from blue to orange armbands. These ones are like ninjas. They've been there for years. I probably should be. Ripping those down and take them with me. Same with the little flags. Oh, I've done it before. I just don't feel like it yet. Not in the mood. Starting to get a little fur in action. Spring is here, it's just not, you know, it hasn't been going on for long. We're going to watch all this just transform. Watch the stands of kudzu come alive.
I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Is that a giant downed tree or is that a boulder? Thinking tree. It's just a look very yeah, it's definitely a tree. Oh, okay, that's a section cut out of it and rolled next to it. Okay, it's not attached. That's a big boy. Oh, look at this janky ass bridge. Pleased to have you. Uh, I'll use you. There's those pipe fittings that like they used in all the schools I grew up in. Everything was made out of those. So this is at a slight angle. The firm. You can see where it was. I'm assuming that it was over just a bit. Somebody took all the trees. Something decent sized just slithered off. Assuming it was a snake, but I only saw a small piece of it. Well, we got some flowers growing that normally only grow where a lot of water. Yeah, so I assume there's like an underground seep or something right here. I know these ladies like it wet. It's still early, I don't think they even opened yet. Okay, now some of them look like they're dying, so. Okay, we're at the road. Okay, there's a church up here I can fill my water up at, and possibly a convenience store, but I don't believe it's open. I'll check it. Anyway. Who knows what they have? Here's my convenience store, but I don't think it's open. I hear they don't. Yeah, it's closed. I see the sign that says closed. Oh, and I hear they're late openers. So, yeah, okay. Well, screw you. I mean, don't screw you. Good for you. You don't have to work. You just open it up when you want to. I'd love to have that lifestyle. You can barely tell there's a house in there. You can see through the damn thing. The trail's more or less disappeared, but luckily there's enough pink bands and blue stripes to follow me through, but this is the trail right here. For some reason it's just super overgrown. We're not overgrown, but um, it's a uh, thick duff, leaf litter, whatever. Well, we got our first water crossing. Well, we do have a natural bridge over here. I guess I could take these rocks too, but this looks more entertaining. Let's see how we fare. I'm not gonna record it though, I'm not dumb. Come on. Nice little camp spot. There's water flowing right there. I'm gonna collect water for my first time on trail too. Uh, collect it, filter it. But I'm going to carry on maybe another three miles to another water source in campground and call it good there. It's still pretty early in the day, so I'd, I'd get really bored if I stopped here. I'm just going to slowly mosey that other three miles, hang out here for a while. Maybe soak my feet, that looks like a good idea. I'm definitely taking it chill today. I sat at that little water source for a good, I don't want to say 45 minutes. So it's my feet for a little bit. My toe is looking pretty good. Very minor surgery. It's just taking something out of me.
Looks like I got it done, so I wasn't worried about dealing with it on this trail. Had to deal with it on the last one. It didn't get bad by any point, but I kept thinking it was going to, and I don't like having an extra stress I don't need. So I'm trying to take it easy when the next stop is in three miles. That's where I'm going to set up camp. But I know if I get there too early, I'll get bored and want to carry on. So I'm just going to mosey. Walk slow. Took my long break. Yeah, this is a nice easy walk. I'm pleased. Great first day. I haven't seen these bad boys in a while. These mushrooms are so dense, they're like wood. You could step on them, use them as shelving. Thought about it. how do you get these to grow in your house? Can I get that to grow in the corner and you know, put knickknacks on it? Thank you, trail maintainers. I mean, this would have been tall, nasty, itchy grass to walk through. It's not tick season yet, but still, I wouldn't want to walk through that. Appreciate you carving me a path. It's quite a wide path, too. It's more than I would have done. I'd have given you guys a narrow strip and you just stick within that. Lots of markings on these trees. Yeah, that's probably satanic. It was bound to happen. I got off trail. Not too terribly far, I realize. I have not seen a blaze in a moment. But I've been on this road for a minute. I looked the other way and I was like, nah, they would have put one in here somewhere. Yeah, it is my bad for missing this. I guess that one would have been my clue. But there's a freaking mailbox over here. I mean, there's one here, but I wouldn't have seen it from the way I was coming. But how did I not notice a mailbox out here? Hey, a log. That's exactly what I expected to find. Let's see if you know anybody. Scribble our name in there. It has just been super quiet. Except for the crunch of my boots on it. It's all dead leaves, so I make a lot of noise while I'm walking. But I'm the only thing making noise out here. Looking forward to sleeping in my hammock tonight. I haven't even actually set that thing up, so this is going to be the first time. Let's see how poorly I do. I understand how it works. I've done this before. It's just been a minute. What are you? I'm not sure. You can tell that the trail just led on straight. There's blazes straight up there, but just a little bit of erosion has taken place.
No big deal. Guessing that's one of them hunter's blinds. Probably a cool place to hide out in a storm. Doesn't look locked. Looks like it's been here for a long time. Oh, it is really nice down here. The temperature is cool. I only have like a half mile to do, so I'm just milking it. It seems a little dark right now, but that's just because it's overcast. Well, the sun's hiding behind a hill as well as a cloud. But it's only four something. It doesn't start getting dark. Well, it starts getting dark earlier, but yeah. It's not dark until like, know, like six or seven o'clock. It's seven. Okay, this is where I'm gonna settle down for the night. Did a little more than I wanted to. Try to stick to single digits, but I barely got any double digits. This is 13.3. It's got a bunch of stools. If I wanted, I could build a fire, but I doubt I will. Figure out where I wanna hang my hammock, which dead tree I'd like to be under. Go out here a little bit. But yeah, this will do nicely. Now, general man code is you don't tell dudes how to do stuff. When you see somebody hanging their hammock from a dead tree that's holding up another dead tree, it ends. He's got it on that tree that is holding up that big old dead tree. Should you say something? He's experienced. He knows what he's doing, but it seems kind of like a weird thing to attach your stuff to. So tonight we're having typical north side with a uh, chicken in it and half of a thing of the good ramen that was in that bag. Um, I'm hoping I can eat it all. I'm not sure. I, I feel a little under the weather. I, you know, I, I have the whole train ride and you know whatnot. I haven't fully recovered, but I was I was vomiting before the train ride and I got that kind of headache going on right now. So there's a chance I might spew all this up, but I'm gonna try to put it in my belly anyway. Well, it's my first time setting it up, but I don't think I did a bad job at all. It's, I mean, it's set up. It's a hammock. I mean, what more, what more do you want? So we'll see how sleeping in is it in it is tonight, and if there's any improvements I can make, I could definitely set it up better. But hey, for first time, it's golden. Good night. I'm tired.